welcome and welcome back to my channel it's cash locks in life and today i am tracking my expenses for the past week and working on my budget breakdown for this week so if that's something you want to see then let's get it hello how are you guys doing today fine i hope i hope you guys are having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this video. So this is going to be about how much I spent last week. And also I get my second side hustle paycheck this week. I'm gonna work on that budget. Figure I do a live in-person budget so you guys can see at least some of what I do on the back end. I try and plan out as best as I can, which can be a little bit too much sometimes, but that's just how my brain works. All right, so these are the expenses that I am needing to unstuff. I did use a lot of cash this weekend. I'm so proud of myself, but these are all my credit card purchases. So let's go ahead and get those character oh, characterized. <laughs> I just made up a word. <laughs> Categorized. All right. Okay. So let's try and zoom in just a little. Okay. All right. So. This was food. That was actually dining out. That was, I think, my daughter requested that. Um, this was something, I think, for my daughter. She It was after practice. She wanted something right away. She couldn't wait for dinner, so we stopped by McDonald's. I'm going to also put that in dining out. I know I don't have enough in this envelope to cover these expenses, so I'll figure it out. Walgreens, this is personal care. Um, I didn't use cash because I did an online uh, curbside. So that is why I use my card. Academy, these were for her um, track shoes. And that's going to come out of clothing. So we bought her these track shoes, right? And they were, they were okay. They didn't have a lot of selection in there. And so she went to the track meet. She did really well. And her her four by two she came in the second place and she said she could have came in first but she didn't have any spikes so now i think i'm gonna have to go and buy spikes i should just bought spikes the first time you know so that's more money but i may take the spikes out of her money because we went to the shoe store she picked out these shoes okay and this is shoes and a compression shirt so this is the rose water i use in my hair so that will come out i'm gonna put that on my locks envelope because that's exactly what that's for and then black and blue she opened her store yay it's so pretty everything looks so nice i wanted one of each but you know baby steps so i spent 45 it may have been more with shipping but 45 and that's gonna come out of tiffany all right let me go ahead and add this up 67 5, 16 plus 902, 21, uh-oh, 02, 06, 25. <laughs> okay, well, let's try this again. Okay, 259, 21. That's too high. I don't think that's right. Let me re-add that. Two thirty-eight nineteen. Okay, why am I getting all these different numbers? I feel like I'm not adding up correctly. So two thirty-eight nineteen. Let me do one more time. Six seven sixteen nine zero two. Okay, six seven point one six nine point zero two. Tiffany three one zero two one zero six twenty five ten seventy six and forty five. It was right the first time. So for week two, we have 259.21. That's a lot. Well, it's mostly because of the shoes, so I guess not. All right. So let me, I better keep this over here. Let me go ahead and pull my money out. So dining out is going to be in this binder and like i said oh open right to it what 
I know I don't have, let's see, 67.16 plus 902. I know I don't have $76 in here. So let's see what I do have. I have 50. So I need 26 more dollars. And I think I'm going to take that out of dining out, dining out. I hate to hit up my my money but i gotta do what i gotta do 26 oh you know what i can also do no i'm not gonna do that so let's see what's in my life envelope okay i need 26 dollars so i have 25 so i'm short a dollar i'll find that from somewhere else okay Next, 2102 should come out of personal care. And I'm actually going to pull that from my cash. I really would have used this if I didn't do an online order. So that's $20. Let me go ahead and pull my cash tree out. I want to zoom out. Okay, I should have zoomed out a long time ago. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put this in here. Okay. And then now, 106.25 should come from clothing. And that's going to be in this binder. So 20, 40, 60, 81. I have 120. Let me break a 20 down. Do I have two tens? I don't. Okay, I'm gonna take 100 for now. Let's figure out this part first. So now I'll come back. Man, this envelope was building up pretty nicely and I just took it out in one fell swoop. <laughs> and then, um, go back to Tiffany's binder for locks. So we need $10, there's 10, so 45 comes out of Tiffany, 20, 40, 5, okay, so I should have close to 259, I think I'm short a couple of dollars, but let's go ahead and count it. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 45, 50. I'm short like $10. So I'm going to take that $10 from, oh gosh, I'm taking it from life. I'm not taking out my money. <laughs> so that's going to come from life. All right. This is the part I enjoy the least. <laughs> I mean, it's good that, you know, we put our money in envelopes and it's a sinking fund. And so when we do spend the money, we can just pull it. But it's like so much progress and now it's gone. But it's okay. All for good reasons. There are two expenses on here that I could have done without. But hey, it's my money. I need to spend it the way I want to. I think I'm being pretty responsible. All right, so let's make sure I'm good. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 60. And that covers my week two expenses. You know what I need? I need a, I need a, a bag for the bank. I do. So for now, I'm going to put it back into this personal because this goes in my, my wallet anyway. And I am going to write myself a note. I 
I found out some very interesting information last week. Since I have my local bank as Capital One, I can go to CVS and make a deposit as opposed to driving all the way to the Bay Branch. So that is what I'm going to do. All right, so up next, we are going to have my budget breakdown for this upcoming side hustle paycheck. All right, I am going to leave my calculator and let's try and zoom in so you guys can see my budget. Okay, hopefully this light doesn't get too distracting. Let me know if it does. <laughs> So this is going to be for March 17th. Um, so my side hustle paycheck or money I get from my side hustle, I do not pay any of my expenses with that. It is only for cash envelopes or sinking funds and or savings challenges. So this expense amount is paid strictly from my main source of income because at any time my side hustle can end, I can have reduced money there and I don't want to count on that money to pay my bills with. All right, so this is my overall March budget. And you'll see um, these are all my expenses. And so far, these items have been paid. This technically has been paid as well. So I should mark that off. And like with my car payment, this comes out bi-weekly. So the first one came out um, last week and the second payment will come out next week. So. Just keep that there. I don't want to split it in two because that's just too much to track. Okay. And then um, this is what I'm doing for the month. I am. Let's see, can you guys see that? Let me zoom out really quick. All right. So this is what I am doing for the month. I am trying to stuff 1400 into my sinking funds. Week one for my side hustle, I did 180 week two for my main income i stuffed 455 and so i have two more weeks to try to get this 1400 now this 1400 is a goal i can't guarantee that i will make this goal but i am going to shoot for it um since we do get most people get an extra paycheck this week i'm sorry this month it may be doable now i also want to say that this money that's in my sinking funds is not money that i'm saving this is not my savings challenges, except for like emergency. Um, this is really just money that they're sinking funds. So I expect to spend these at some point. Um, my savings challenges are totally separate. So that's why this amount is a want and hopefully I'll make it there. Okay. All right. So like I said, we're not doing expenses. I am not stuffing my cash envelopes this week. Um, I did that last week and this money really goes for two weeks for me, but I will be adding $10 for Amaya's allowance, okay? This is money she gets to spend. However, the rest of her money goes into her, her savings. All right, so for birthdays, I am not stuffing anything because I have um, reached my goal this month. As you see, I budgeted $40. Can you see that without that light? Okay, so I budgeted $40 for the month. Week one, I stuffed 20. Week two, I stuffed 20. So I am actually done with this category for this month. Anything else that I would add there would be lanyap or extra. So we are going to not do anything here car maintenance we're going to stuff 20 and i'm actually done with this category for this month christmas i'm going to put 15 and this category is now also done for this month clothing we're going to put 10 and this category is done household we're going to put 10 this month that one is done medical we're going to stuff 10 that one is done. Travel, I'm going to put 20 in travel this week. And I still have $40 left to spend here, or left to stuff here. And I will do that with my next full paycheck. One month ahead, I'm going to also put 20. And then I have 40 left. And so this top section of sinking funds is my high priority. And so it's important for me to at least get these 
stuff because these are the categories that I am going to use the most like each month, the next couple of months. This section is like my long-term, it's still high priority, but it's like long-term saving. So this category is um, very important, but not as important to me as this one. This category, these are very low priority sinking funds and I will stuff these, but it's not like at the top of my list. I will do these as I can. It's not a priority for me to get these completely done. And then Tiffany's cash. This is always important because it's my money. Everything here is for Tiffany and Tiffany is important. <laughs> She's important. So I will put that like right above this section. But pretty much I have these in the order of real importance. Although Tiffany needs to move up some. What y'all think? <laughs> All right, so I am not stuffing um, Amaya Savings this week. I will stuff that next week, and I owe that envelope $50. College, I am putting $20, and that category is done. Now, I am stuffing a very low amount in college. I need to increase that very soon. She starts high school this year in September or August, whenever kids start school. And so I have four years to kind of get the savings up. So I need to make a plan. But um, I have other things that I need to pay first, and then I will have that extra money to put into college. Okay, so for my debt, I am not stuffing that this week, but I still owe it $30. Emergency, I am not stuffing emergency with my side hustle, like sinking funds money. That comes from my savings challenges. Okay, um... Next, we are going to have home. I will put $20 in home. And I still owe this envelope $20. Okay, investment, I'm not stuffing that this week and I still owe it $20. Now, just in case you have the question about this remaining amount, that is what I showed you here. I calculate my total and then what I'm stuffing each week. And then hopefully at the end, I will, I would have met these goals, okay? All right, moving on. Date night's not getting anything and I still owe it $30. Dining out, I should give dining out something, but I'm not. I still owe it $50. I just took everything out of dining out, but that means I'm gonna be really strict on myself this next week. Giving, I am going to stuff $5 and I still owe this envelope $30 for this month. I increased this envelope for this month because I'm close to my 500 subs, yay! And I'm doing a giveaway. So that is why that one's increased for this month. Basketball, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff 20 because Amaya has a camp coming up that I'm gonna to have to pay for. Kids, I'm giving them $10 and I still owe them $15. Pass me the bucks. She's not getting anything. And I still owe that $20. School, I'm going to put 10 and I still owe it $20. And splurge, I'm not putting anything in there and I still owe it $20. Okay, last but not least, we have Tiffany's binder. I am putting $50 in my envelope and I have met my goal for this month. Lux, I am adding $20. And I have met my goal for this month. I may have to reevaluate that because I did take money out today. But for now, I met what I said I was going to meet. Uh, life, I am going to stuff 20. And I have met my goal for this month. Luxury is not important to me this month. But um, I'll stuff it next week. I owe it $20. And self-care, I am going to put $20. And I am done with that envelope. All right, so let's go ahead and add this up. Okay, so that comes to 300. All right, and so now we're gonna add up this column to see what we have left. Or 25 okay so I am $425 away from meeting my monthly goals yay okay so cash envelopes I am going to 
put 10. Sinking funds, 300. So my withdrawal is 310. Okay. So this will be my cash stuffing for this week. And finally, um, I am going to move this over here. All right. So I went ahead and filled in this last category. Let's make sure my numbers add up. 180, 455, 300, 1360. Why am I short? Oh, emergency. Okay, so I did stuff emergency this week with my um my savings challenges. So although it's saying I'm short, I'm actually over because I put $100 this week. So that's going to bring my total here to 555. I completed my um pin the tail on Daniel. And so that is where he went. Oh, 180, 555, 300, 425. 1460. All right. So that is it for my budget. I wanted to work through it with you guys so you can see how I actually do this on the back end. I know I don't really go through this much, and I'll probably do that next week for my main paycheck so you can see how the expenses look and everything. But that's it. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.